The design for Pandanasa Monastery commenced in August 1997. The monastery design was heavily influenced by traditional Athenite architecture. The traditional Athenite monasteries were built as fortresses with very small openings to the outside world, opening up more to the protected central courtyard spaces. Similarly, Pandanasa Monastery was influenced by this concept with a more rigid, stricter rectangular geometry to the outside and a much softer curved geometry facing the more protected courtyard towards the church. The approval process for the monastery took several years and was undertaken in three main stages. Stage one was the church and the main driveway out to Pemberton's Hill Road. Stage two was the two-storey monk's accommodation looking out over the cliff top. Stage three is the guest accommodation to the east, yet to be built. Minor applications to council included the cemetery, the chapel for the cemetery, and the large bushfire fighting tank. The firefighting tank is a necessary part of the monastery due to the remote location. It is needed because there is no mains pressure water for hydrants. Construction at the monastery was severely affected by COVID. However, since then, work has continued and the monastery's kitchen is completed and work on the north wing of the father's accommodation is nearing completion. Earthworks around the church also continued, and recently the courtyard paving concrete was poured to collect valuable stormwater.
Although approved, Stage 3 is yet to commence. It is currently undergoing some design changes. It will include the basement level for general storage. The ground level will have facilities for welcoming pilgrims. A small chapel, which will also be used as a confessional for the guests. Some overnight accommodation and an office in Sinovico for the fathers to use for the daily operation of the monastery. The first floor will also include some accommodation for guests and for the bishop and the archbishop when they visit. There will also be an iconography studio for the fathers. The two key areas of any monastery are the church and the dining hall. At Bandanasa, both of these spaces still require some work. In the church, the walls require lime render in preparation for the iconography, as well as some plumbing work and some mechanical ventilation. The dining hall still needs its ceiling, as well as some mechanical air conditioning.